With the snow back in the forecast, it's time to think about how you will remove it. And if you've lived here long enough, you know that there can be either hard or easy ways of removing snow, depending on what kind of snow falls, either wet or dry. But what causes the difference? Meteorologist Michael Barron joins us now with the answer. Hi, Michael. Hey there, Val. Yeah, that wet snow, that can really be a burden when it falls. But you know that fluffy stuff, it's just not a problem. You can just scoot it off and away you go. But why is there such a difference between the different types of snow? Well, let's look at how they form across the region. First, we'll take a look at your average snowfall. Nothing uh, too remarkable there. About one inch of liquid, which would be rain, uh, would be about 10 inches of snowfall. This is your pretty normal snowfall. Temperatures in the 20s, normal conditions, the most common type. Now, when we get into the wet wet snowfall that actually happens because things are a little warmer there we have about one inch of liquid equals five inches of snowfall much denser stuff falling temperature is closer to the freezing mark in the 30s if not slightly above could also be affected by sunshine around which causes a little melting gets the snow a little wetter or the ground level being above freezing this is that wet heavy slushy kind of snowfall but then we have that other end of the spectrum the real easy stuff to get out of the way that fluffy light snowfall you can have one inch of liquid equaling in excess of 25 inches of snowfall during certain lake effect events or temperatures that are just really, really cold. You get into the teens, the atmosphere can't hold that much moisture, but what does form totally forms as ice and you get that real light fluffy snow easy to remove but the problem is that stuff blows around that's why we have different tools for different jobs depending on what happens in the winter the snow blower is certainly best for that heavy snow the shovels get very strenuous and it can also be very strenuous on your roof take a look at these examples out there you have the fluffy stuff on the left the normal stuff in the middle heavy stuff on the right the weight on the left not even close to the weight we have with the heavier snowfall to the right in fact could be in excess of 10,000 pounds more on your roof with that wet snowfall. So do keep that in mind. But also keep in mind, it's not all bad news. The wet snow is better for the snowballs out there. So if you're making a snowman or a snowball fight, that's what you want. If you're going sledding, quite the opposite. You want that fluffy snowfall. As for what's coming in our forecast, it's looking like it's going to start wet, then get a little bit drier as we head toward the weekend. Guys, 